Let's get it. It's because I had to pee so bad. Check on Jizzy's stand. Kiriako Summit. You can't put your lips on it. No, you are. <laughs> Water bottle, vacuum. Arizona, baby. Let's show you a live demonstration of how this works. Hold on. Arizona, baby. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. I just filled up a full tank in the ST. Let's go hit the road and meet up with Juan and let's head to Arizona, baby. <laughs> late i'm pretty sure last night i said i'll text you when i leave i'll text you when i leave but we're getting there at nine what time is it now let's see 10 43 10 13 he didn't follow the rules yeah i got here early i wanted to have some coffee i got a little breakfast look at those two black baggers bro Dude. love it man it's so comfortable it's crazy i freaking love it we need to do more rides with baggers juan and i just went on a trip last week he, he points, he goes, hey, there's a gas station over there. I go, cool, I'm full. Yeah, I'm full too, but you wasted a quarter, uh -uh, so you should go. Uh -uh. Turn this thing on, dude. My gas gauge is full, homie. Okay, one little bar off. That's like not that much. What do you got? Show me what you got. Right here, look. All yeah. the way up, all the way up. See that? Uh, it yeah. <laughs> it's that full, right, dude. dude. It's that full. We're gonna fill up, see how far we can make it. Hopefully in maybe Palm Springs or something like that. Go find some spot for lunch and keep heading into Phoenix. So you said you sat at Walmart for 45 minutes and you still didn't fill up while you were waiting for me? Yeah, I had to get back somehow. I was like, I waited, now Lance is gonna wait. It's gotta be gentle. I'm using used gauge that actually doesn't track miles. Unfortunately, I wish it did, but I couldn't get my hands on a brand new one, so it's been locked. But, so Juan, you zero out your trip and let's see kind of MPG wise, you know, when this bike starts to run out or that bike starts to run out. miles did we make it Juan? 143 miles so we made it 143 miles my bike has two bars left of gas i don't know if you guys can see that through the glare i'm not purely confident how many more miles that would have got me i don't really know the next gas station so 
I figured we would stop here, not try to push it to the limit. Probably one of the only gas stations nearby because every single pump is full right now. 1241, so it's almost lunchtime. Yeah. Diner right there. Somebody just pulled up over there. Dude, it's we've been crushing it. I think smooth sailing. It's my first time using these gloves for a long period of time, and dude, I'm stuck. My hands are toasty. So that's pretty interesting. We both just put the exact same amount of gas in. I put $20 and he put $20. So we're burning the same MPGs. He's got an air filter, tune, exhaust, but on a 107. Air filter, tune, exhaust, 117. More air wind protection, so that creates more drag. So that probably makes up for the difference in displacement, honestly. I melted the shoe on the pipe. It's because I had to pee so bad. Moving around on the bike, dude. I gotta pee. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and let's see how far away the Arizona border is. Front spot at the bar, dog. Hello. Hello. Can I start out with something to drink? Yeah. Old school diner style. So they serve breakfast all day, burgers, sandwiches, biscuits and gravy, eggs. Too late for breakfast. So we're 72 miles away from the Arizona border, 200 miles away from Phoenix. Thank you. What do you think, dude? Nothing like a little diner food off the tent, baby. What do you think? Server recommended the grilled onions on the burger. Bomb. Looks like you like your food. I smoked it, it was pretty tasty. We're at the coffee shop, so we gotta grab some coffee. Thank you. It's probably scorching hot, but this is what's gonna make it where I make it to Phoenix tonight. You were so excited you couldn't sleep. No, I didn't sleep well last night at all. Great, we're Pretty good. It took a little bit longer than I thought we were gonna take. Ready to I need a nap. Check on Jizzy's stand. Oh no, yeah, it's, it's too full. You wanna suck some out? I heard you could suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Yeah. So. so now we're trying to look for something to take some oil out. Shariaco Summit. We're at Shariaco Summit in the coffee shop. These dudes walk in. Pops goes right up to Juan and goes, hey, Juan, I know you. Film you guys, say what's up. Thank you guys for saying hello. I just right. got an ST. Okay. So this is kind of like the first trip out. So we came out here to grab some lunch. We're cruising around. Full bellies. I'm tired. I don't want to get back on the road, but we got 200 miles to rip. Get to Arizona, Juan. Let's get it. All right, so we didn't find anything to try to drain the excess oil. I always see a travel center truck stop and we are gonna find hopefully a turkey baster or something, a hose, some way to get oil out. Is that you? Proper shaker siphon. Let's try it. Oh, I, it might be too thick now. What'd you get, bro? A little Mexican mango. Sounds good, bro. Good old, bro. <laughs> Put your lips on it. No, you are, bro. <laughs> Let's show you a live demonstration of how this works. It's nice about this film. We could use it reverse. You could suck on it this way. All the way up here, you could see it in there. I don't know why it was like that. Who told you it was five quarts? It's gonna start melting it. All right, who's, Hurry up. Who's, Hurry up. <laughs> who's recording? Now it's gonna use me, Terry. You can't suck on it now. <laughs> Fuck idiot, dude. You had to keep the sucking. It wasn't enough. It wasn't gonna go. Water bottle vacuum. It's good, it's good. Oh, gosh. Wow. Juan's Ingenuity water bottle, hose line. We drained out, let's pour it in the cup. Let's see how much we overfilled it. Hold on. Probably like a quarter, quart, half a quart, too much. <laughs> in Big Red's defense, he said, put four quarts in, and then ride it, check it, and then start adding until, and we added a half, and it still didn't read. It didn't do anything. So we're like, all right, let's just pour yeah. the whole thing. So, fix the oil level. It's 342, we're still in California, but we're only like 10 miles away from Arizona, and then we got another like 140 something miles like that to go. So let's get back on the road. <laughs>
Arizona, baby. <laughs> you made me scratch in my frame, bro. No. All right, so we only went about 100 miles since our last fill up, and we're about 100 miles out from Phoenix, Arizona. My bike shows like a third of a tank, and I am not gonna gamble knowing what gas stops are ahead in between here and Phoenix. I didn't see any signs, so I'd rather just fill her up. Better safe than sorry. And actually, the temperature's dropping, so I'm gonna switch to my insulated gloves. Order from California, Arizona, and the gas is like, a dollar, a dollar fifty cheaper over here. Now here, they don't have like that safety. We made it, homie. This is it. We parked here. What's the deal? I mean, I think we could probably pull our bikes under the drag tent. Looks like there's um, enough of them. There's some room. Like, I want to unload my shit before I park. Got a little chilly towards the end. I'm glad we swapped out our gloves, honestly. Gloves, insulated. We were in the 50s. Yeah, it was like mid 50s, like so, 55. Yeah, so for you guys that are watching, it was in the 50s when I left my house. Low 50s, though, like 50 degrees. And I've been wearing thermals under my jeans i've been wearing a t-shirt and then a sweatshirt or a sweater like a crew neck and then the thrashing overshirt, the canvas overshirt, and then a vest and then these uh new mission waterproof gloves all day and like been stoked my hands are like sweaty <laughs> it's gnarly like i'm not even like trying to like make this an ad or anything like i normally ride with the gauntlets and i'm glad i got these because like Gauntlets are great, but dude, these are like next level. Yeah. Like they're really warm. All right, guys, there you have it. We just had a crazy 24 hours. Last night, this time, we were we were still at the shop working on the ST. I'm super stoked on the improvements that we made. I just popped a little wheelie pulling into the parking lot. <laughs> And I was pretty mind blown at, at how well it came up. And I don't know if it has to do with the tune we did, the air filter, the suspension, all of it combined. Hopefully on the next vlog, I may pop a couple up and we'll get one to hold the camera. With that being said, we just landed in Scottsdale, Arizona. I did about 450 miles today. It's dark and cold. I'm pretty beat up from yesterday and today. As you can see in the background though, there's the Drag Specialties rig. If you don't know, Drag Specialties is one of the leading motorcycle distribution companies in the world. And they every year invite some of their 
top tier vendors and some of their top tier, top tier dealers out to kind of come together, hang out, go on motorcycle rides together, shake hands, hang out. Here we are, Scottsdale, Arizona. The next couple days are gonna be rad. And our goal is to drop a vlog Monday and Thursday for the next couple weeks, showing what the behind the scenes is of the industry and how uh, you know everybody gets along, all the brands that'll be here over the next couple days, all the cool rides we go on, all the rad places we go. So stay tuned, tune back in this Thursday at 4 p.m. PST. We're dropping another one. So Juan, what are you looking forward to this weekend? Honestly, I'm looking forward to the rides uh, and just the actual event. So I used to work in a motorcycle company in the past and I've I've known about this event for a really long time and it was always like, oh, we could only send one person or two people and it was like upper management. So I'm really looking forward to like seeing what it's about and then I know there's like a bunch of different rides. So I'm stoked to check that out. Meet uh, industry people. We saw some of my buddies on the way here from PM and a couple other companies. So it's rad to hang out with them here and uh, meet new people and hit the rides. Yeah, you know? and, the, and the cool part about it is it's like, everyone kind of puts their guard down and it's just like it's not so much about like selling product and marketing it's more just like about chilling hanging out and kind of just celebrating the industry yeah it sounds like it'll be cool i'm looking forward to checking it out so yeah i'm looking forward to it showing you guys showing Juan. so stay tuned thanks for watching see you later